Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. I forgot I had it on four minutes. The Memphis so, I had to restart. The Brooklyn Nets. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside. David Aldridge. Hey, I see you, Doris. TA, take it away. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in season tournament. That's pretty intriguing, D.A. It's an interesting story, and we thank you for giving it to us. And you think about all the anticipation over the last couple months. Doris, the regular season is finally here. <laughs> it is upon us. <laughs> Amen, Kevin. We have been waiting so anxiously for NBA tip-off. Obviously, you're always looking to see the movement of personnel. How well do guys who've switched organizations fit in with their respective rosters? Is somebody now a title contender? So many anxious front offices hoping they made the right decisions. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. O'Neal is out there with Sharp. Then it's Williams. Then it's Mikel Bridges. And it's That's exactly how the game started position. when I had it on four minute quarters. In at the guard spots, Morant in Bain. I got to take one three pointer. Job ja missed completely on the lob and threw it late. Well, we know this. Mikel Bridges has the length. What's his name? Trey. He missed two. He threw it late. Morant against Williams. Goes inside and slam dunk by Harris. <laughs> <laughs> That'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. Woo ha! I got you all in check. And so it's Williams who brings Yeah, the Royce. This, of course, their first opportunity. My to play first the dunk in the exactly NBA. The game that everyone will be talking about here, but both of these teams can show flashes at times. We're seeing two teams that could be building more for the future, trying to instill a winning culture, and we'll see which team takes a step in that direction. Morant kicks to Bain. Good, and the nice assist from Morant. The point he knows his role. Ja loves setting guys up, always looking to pass it. During Desmond Bain's first season, I wonder if they are updated that he's a percent from three-point territory. Got defensive player of the year. For a rookie, and Bain's three-point numbers went up in his yeah. season. Yeah, you on lockdown, son. Huh? Desmond's been a premier shooter. And the rejection by Morant. Bain looking around. So that's why I hate because Ja was right there. He didn't pass him the ball. The pass to Harris, and the jam by Harris. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? I don't even know why you jumped, bro. <laughs> Bridges, why did you jump? Showing up on the at and 5G slam camp. That's what I do. Like Mark Henry, baby. That's what I do. Morant against Williams. There's the lob to Bridges. Okay. He has no lack of confidence in Mikel Bridges. This guy believes he's trying to he's trying to save a little face. Had to get dunked on. To start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Here's Morant. Sweet little floater. Morant's got his second bucket of the night. Are you kidding? Five for five, and they just got started. The Nets have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Pass to Sharp. Outside Williams. Poked away. Morant with the steal. And it's Memphis on the break. And <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Is gifted at reading defenses and then being able to spot the open teammate. First quarter of basketball. Yeah, it's the new Memphis, baby. It's the new Memphis. Here's Williams. Block. And the rejection by Jackson. Here's Bain. Good and the nice assist from Morant. And just like that, we're up by eight. Maybe I should have kept it on four minute quarters. And here is Williams. Bridges dishes to Williams. Back to Bridges. Six to shoot. Passes it to Claxton. 
rejected by him. <laughs> <laughs> you tried it. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Morant standing the floor. And Morant throws it down. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit. Y'all need a timeout. Watching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Here's Williams following the score by Memphis. So, and so. Got a they just off ran that play again, huh? A little guy, he can be a handful on the offensive boards if you're not aware of him. And the Grizzlies leading by eight. Morant outside. And stolen by Williams. He kicks to O'Neal. Outside Williams. <laughs> down to five the shot clock. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Here's Harris. And slammed up by Harris. We're seeing some fireworks from him already. But what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Is that Greg Anthony over there? Oh, that is Greg Anthony with Kevin Harlan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's your new first overall pick, Will. First round pick. Come and holler at me after the game, ladies. Some changes for Memphis. Aldama's checked in, and it's Tillman in for Jackson. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. And Simmons, he's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Royce O'Neal. Dinwiddie is checked in for Mikel Bridges. And it's Seth Curry in for Williams. Now here's Simmons. It's to Curry over Jones. And Curry the bucket on the assist by Simmons. This is what Ben Simmons does, guys. If someone's open, he will find him. Jones against Curry. Jones, the pass to Harris. Three pointer. Oh. Brooklyn with the rebound. You see, it's on F, right? Tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to let me jump at him. There's the pick. Here's Dinwiddie. That three off the mark. And the Grizzlies leading by eight. Here's Harris. Damn it. That one is good. He's only missed one. <laughs> I thought I was fast. On the floor. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Grizzlies. I forgot my speed ain't that fast either. Come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooter. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Now here is Harris. He's got 10. Takes it off the glass. Take over. Harris has got 12 points in the game. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed. He did put my intangibles at like 95, even though I didn't put it there. To the left side wing. Dinwiddie right side. There's a screen. But you definitely ain't got to worry about being out here. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Jones from outside. Good on the triple. Oh, this is as good as it gets for first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Nets. Trailing by 13. Outside Curry shoots the three. That one misses. Now Memphis takes it the other way. What? Aldama this passes so damn to stupid. Tillman. Here's the lob for Harris. Oh, oh, yeah. the <laughs> I ain't telling him to do that. The beat so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early. I love you, Finney Smith. Like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. 
Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Boy, look at me, cherry picking. Dinwiddie against Spain. Sharp, the pass to Kurtz. Connects from three-point range. Five points in the game. Look at how composed Seth Curry is beyond the arc. Takes a shot like that and knows it's going in. Jones for three. And again, Damn. the Grizzlies from deep. Oh, man. We can double up their score, bro. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. Back right after this. What y'all showing him for, bro? See all these points I got? Two rebounds. It's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And guys, the Grizzlies enjoying a nice lead here. Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. And why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. <laughs> so Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. How is it 30 to 15 and it's a, oh my god this damn game bro and it's John Morant in for Tyus Jones in at the guard spots Morant and the camera shake is not even supposed to be on man and it's oh, fuck and at the center filling out the middle that's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies in the corner it's Harris outside Bain now the pass to Morant Let's it go with the three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. On the way, Harris. Good, and Damn Curry it. gets the assist. Harris has got his first points in this one. I think it might surprise people that Joe Harris does not mind contact on the interior. That's a nice shot. Wow. And slammed up by Harris. Ooh. We're inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Forty-three seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Curry. Eight points for him. Pass to Watsonabe. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Harris against Harris. Five to shoot. What is it doing? What the fuck? Right Here's Tillman. Off target from three-point range. And a wide open look for Payne. Shot is good off the bat. Oh, and it did not hit me. The motherfucking damn passer icons was still on the damn screen for some damn reason. Even for a moment, that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. Grizzlies lead by 17. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. I know what I need to do. Welcome, everybody. Let's get right to it. It's been nothing short of a tremendous challenge for the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> they've been struggling to get <laughs> shots. That ain't Ben Simmons no Down low, they've been paper soft. Hate to say it. Giving up way too many easy looks. If they can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half, it's going to be a long ride home. And there's more NBA action in store for us that, tonight. That Here are the games stupid. tipping off later. For the Spurs, they'll be up against the Hawks out in Atlanta. 7.30 Eastern for the tip-off in that one. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter.
80 to 63. Dang, bro. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Setting the floor for the Nets. They've got Sharp. Williams is out there with Bridges. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Claxton <laughs> at the five spot. The three, Bridges. To the middle. And slammed up by Harris. Teams nowadays tracking deflections in addition to steals. Were they something you were aware of when you played defense, Greg? Yeah, even if they weren't tracked, uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career, that was something with the Knicks. That you know, they're damn glitch. Can't see damn score. Deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensive. Here's Morant. Oh. <laughs> and he finishes what nice happened all that way? I should have let him have it. In the game. Oh, my fault. to respect Morant's activity on the offensive glass has an outstanding feel for when to go and attack the board. Now, here's Sharp. Back to Williams. They set the pick. No good on the triple. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And that's going to be a turn. Damn it, I forgot for eight eight the damn. Let's see what the Brooklyn down Nets have coming up. I forgot. On Friday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. Then on Monday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. There's like two now, turnovers here's I got Bridges. Now. He's got 10. Kicks to Williams. By Jackson. Well, an open three. Oh, you need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. Okay, you can jerk. Pick the damn scoreboard, man. Fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Timeout call the Nets. Now it's a numbers for Mikhail Bridges. Good season for him last year. Averaged 15 points a game, three assists, and three rebounds. And what a luxury for them to have someone like him who can absolutely fill it up coming off the bench. I love it. He knows they're looking for him to bring immediate offense, and he very rarely disappoints. Now here's Williams. He's got six. Passes to Sharp. Back to Williams. There's the lob to Bridges. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. What? It's tipped. Oh, fuck. Williams with the ball. He's picked up by Morant. Bridges kicks to O'Neal. Five on the clock. There's the three. Hits the three point bomb. O'Neal. O'Neal's got eight points. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. Williams against Morant to the inside. Harris and slam dunk by Harris. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Brooklyn's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Morant against Williams. Gas to Sharp. Williams with the ball. Bridges sets the screen for Williams. And there's Bridges on the assist by Williams. Williams has got four assists now tonight. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They are definitely not losing because of him. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Randy Clark, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Jones comes in for Morant. And then... Substitution on the court. Now it was 88 to 68. What's the score now? 
The Grizzlies have gone to a can't see it since we started the final quarter of play. Adams is the pivot for him with uh, Jackson Jr. at the four. Harris yeah, is out there with Morant, pass, and it's Clark in at the three. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Now here's Thomas. Are you looking at the MVP race last season between three incredible big men with Jokic and Bede and Giannis Antetokounmpo? Oh! Oh, that is just unreal. Is this the dunk contest, or are we actually playing a real game? No, no, this one counts, Greg. Believe me, <laughs> oh, my confidence to attempt that alley-oop to himself. I got a little ass uh, Thomas out here. Williams scanning and I'm the playing floor. small four. I did not realize he was there. This is what you call putting it all together on the offensive end. Go ahead, Mikael Bridges. Now a timeout called by Memphis. You know, my guess right now is Coach wants to talk over this turnover issue. And it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find... What's the damn score? Gotta do that shit to feel damn cool. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, John Morant. Yeah, his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't My think bad. It was possible. <laughs> I thought he was gonna keep coming. You, you need Pause. a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work. Now I got three damn turnovers. A lot of talent. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. That's a double win, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. Uh, let's see if uh, Oh, y'all made me jump all the way across the damn rim. Ooh, bitches. Well, Give me the ball, stride. John. That is a textbook delivery. Here's Harris and slam dunk by Harris. You ain't gonna give me that weak ass dunk. That work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Collison against Morant. Outside Collison. The pass to Thomas. Jacks up a three. The shot's good. Collison making the play. Collison's got four assists in the game. Darren Collison understands his role to perfection. If you're open, he will find you. Not surprised at all. He's shooting well and scoring points in bunches. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Thomas against Kinnar. He's doing all of that. Post over Kinnar. And the basket by Thomas. Thomas got five points now this quarter. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Harris. And he uses the glass on the lane. Well, they're leading in large I just said to get the contact. In, in this quarter. This is nicely done. And so Collison will bring it up for the Nets. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. They start a three-game homestand with that game. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just I'm pissed off. Right. For Brooklyn, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Harris with it. Picked up by Collison. And slammed up by Harris. And what started it all? Anticipation on the defensive end. And that's exactly how you get yourself into transition. The gamble pays off. Brooklyn's gone one and two from three point range here in the fourth. Collison, the pass to Sharp. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA is a play. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but when you love Coach the game, take me out for being a jerk. those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little... So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense and potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Now, and now this is score, and they had to still win with like one for five and shit. Our player of the game. Hey, David. This guy. Thanks very much, Jaron. A young team, but you're going in the right direction. 
How does a game like tonight help you keep that flow? Thank you, David. Great interview once again. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later. This dude had 33 damn points. See, the rest of them one for five. Come on, man. Bro. Why and how did he have 33 points, man? All right, man. Mm -hmm.